How's it going YouTube? Sick Eric back again with another video and today I'm just going to be quickly showing you my setup for uh, recording videos for YouTube. Uh, pretty simple setup. Uh, I sort of made it myself and uh, I just wanted to share this with you guys on what I use to make my videos with. Nothing fancy, you know, I don't have no high-tech, you know, camera or anything. I pretty much just use my phones, whatever phone that I'm using at the moment and uh, whatever phones I have and a desk and my setup that I made, a little rig, that way I could get these awesome over the head shots uh, that you see in my videos. So let's go ahead and jump down into it and I'll go ahead and show you my setup on what I use uh, and also like what apps I use to make the videos with just to give you guys an idea of what I use and how I make my videos. So let's go ahead and jump down into it. All right, so this is pretty much what I use. Uh, I did have an electronic drum kit that I had before, but uh, of course uh, some of the cymbals stopped working. And uh, so I took it apart, put it in boxes, and I'm using a frame to uh, make this rig that I record videos on. And there's my little setup with my little plant and LG V60 right there and essentially what this is it can be adjusted to go up higher or lower just got to loosen these screws uh, I put a light on here to give me some adequate lighting this is an arm it can swing in and out uh, whichever way I want it to and of course it just runs down the side uh, the rig I have is a clamp that will clamp on to pretty much anything and then you could hook up a camera or a uh, some sort of a camera holder to it screws right onto it and then your basic just regular uh, phone clamp to that and of course this could be adjusted this could slide back and forth along here whichever way I want it to center it over the desk and of course the legs for the stand uh, right over there of course I have a tripod as well that I use to record videos with and uh, this is pretty much the setup that you would get if I were to put this into the camera holder and it gives you this awesome over the head setup and as far as apps that I use I pretty much use power director to do any of my apps with, which is a really cool uh, editor that I just you know like to use a lot. You have a whole bunch of different options, you know, to create video and effects, add pictures. Um, you just got to go to you know your camera gallery. You could add background music if you want. You could do all this kind of stuff with Power Director, and so far this is the best app that I've seen to uh, do this with. I've tried a whole bunch of other apps and. Just really didn't like them or they were too much to buy and they give you that little watermark and then if you want to produce a video just go ahead and go in and you could produce it either in 4k 1080p 720 or standard 360 which I don't know why anybody would want to do that I recommend going uh, 1080p or, or higher maybe 4k 30 if you're not doing anything that moves around a lot like say a video like this you could get away with 4k 30 or 1080p 60 whichever they are both very adequate for YouTube uh, consumption and for content and as far as you know editing my thumbnails you know I just did a thumbnail right here I use a thumbnail maker I'll post this in a link down below so a really really cool editing app for making thumbnails you just choose the picture and then you crop it and then you could go ahead and add text to it so blah and then you could add it and then you could also change the font the color space what color you want the text in shadow outline if you want an outline on it you could change the outline uh, thickness and then you just go ahead and hit download you could add uh, stickers to this so if you want to add some stickers or like what I used like adding is you know subscribe down in the corner of my thumbnail but uh, there's a whole bunch of different stickers you add on here you could add some arrows uh, bubbles if you want there's a whole bunch of stuff you could add on here 
you can add an effect to give you sort of a different effect to your thumbnail and then you could also change the background if you wanted to as well for that if you're you know of course the picture you're using isn't covering up the whole area you can use a background as well so a really really cool app uh, I use this a lot pretty much on every video that I've got and then another app that I like to use a lot is logo pit uh, which you could create different types of uh, again thumbnails for this one's a little bit more professional and sleeker looking I think but uh, you get more options with the thumbnail maker so if I wanted to make a thumbnail I could add a picture or add a logo and then I could crop it and do everything like that and this is logo pit I like using this a lot but uh, this is pretty much my setup that I use uh, to record my videos uh, nothing fancy like I said uh, I have a microphone up here if I need to use a mic I'm sort of hooked on right there um, sometimes it works okay sometimes it doesn't but this is pretty much my setup my desk area that I use to do my videos on and yeah hopefully it ain't too uh, hoopty for you guys but this is what I use and so far I like it a lot uh, this can lift up and I can move it out of the way out of the desk if I wanted to just to get it out of the way of course the uh, tripod goes over there I sort of use this area as a background if I do any videos just because you know it's a nice background but uh, as far as anything else I probably would want to get some uh, soundproofing pads to put on the wall just to help with the echo and that's pretty much it um, hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, give you some insight of what I use to make my videos with and yeah this is pretty much what I use everything of course is fairly inexpensive other than of course this coming from an electronic drum kit drum kit was expensive but of course it's not working anymore so I used it to make my rig the clamp very inexpensive under 20 bucks the uh, phone clamp again under 10 bucks i believe maybe 20 bucks plant was really cheap it was like i think seven ten dollars or twelve dollars i'm not sure of course the pad uh you can find on amazon really really cheap i think this pad was like 20 bucks if i'm not mistaken uh the light of course is just a regular uh, led light that I have on there so nothing really fancy um, just wanted to give you guys an insight of what I use to make my videos with so hope you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up if you did thumbs down if you didn't stay safe out there as you can see I am bored staying at home so I decided to do this video on my setup my current setup on making YouTube videos for you guys so hope you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe hit that little notification bell for future notifications on my channel Peace.